everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is heat bending with some plastic. So let's get on with it. So the reason for this video is really cool because I'm going to be using this in another project which you guys will see soon. And I'm going to show you a failed attempt that I did. And this is the main reason why I want to use plastic. Because I was going to use aluminium. But as you can see, it doesn't look terrible. But... It's really badly done and it would take me forever to get all these bangs and knocks out of the alley. So that's the reason why I decided to use plastic. Anyway, let's get on with it. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so the first step is to build some sort of jig in the loosest of terms. So what I've done is I've got three bits of wood actually. I made sure that they're completely square on the edges. And I made sure I drew my line of where I wanted to bend it. And the third piece of wood is a nice flat plank and what this is going to do is when it's ready to bend I can rub it against the actual flat edge and I'm guaranteed to pretty much get a right angle on it which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this down, get the heat gun and I'll show you an example. So I'll be back in a second. So this is probably the most important step of the entire method and that's because when you start heating it up you've only got a couple seconds before it becomes too malleable and you start to kink the plastic. So you just really want to make sure that you're taking your time with this and make sure you do it perfectly. So I'm going to start it now. So I'm probably going to skip to the point where it is actually malleable and I'll show you what to do so you don't have to sit through me going <laughs> until it melts. So I'll see you guys in a second. There we go, it's malleable enough to get an actual bend on it, but I feel like I still need to put a little bit more heat on it. So that's what I'll do. There we go, that's absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let that cool down. I'll take it out and I'll show you the result because that is awesome. Wow, that was actually really easy to do. And the result is really amazing to be honest. If you have a look at this and compare it to this, they're basically identical. But this, the plastic has such a better right angle on it. So I'm going to show you both of these on my project and you should be able to tell the difference. And here we go, so I've got both of my pieces and I'm going to show you the aluminium first and you can see actually how bad this fits on. So if I stick it on, you can see all of this wobble and it, it looks nice, but I feel like the plastic is going to be a bit better. So let's try out the plastic now. And I'll stick that on and wow, <laughs> wow that's awesome. That fits on them corners absolutely superbly and I'm really happy with that because now all I've got to do is cut the hole out, attach the draw mechanism and I'm done but you'll, you'll see that in a later project. Wow that was such a good result and I'm really happy with it actually and this is definitely going to be used on my project now and it was just so astonishingly easy to be able to do it considering that I just made a quick jig out of three bits of plastic, heated it up and I flattened it out and it was just so Cool. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.